Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rebecca Smith reporting for Global News Network, the station that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. As you know, we have been exploring the chaotic climate we find ourselves in. Tonight, we will conclude our final interview with the individual responsible. Rebecca, I have been waiting to see you. You were always the highlight of my day seeing you. I hope your day's going well. I am actually. I'm having a great day. But enough about me. Let's conclude this interview. So I, uh, I hope you've given some serious thought to becoming part of my team. I mean, honestly, Rebecca, with my talent, your skill, I can, I, I can promise you that Rebecca Smith will be a household name by year's end. I've considered it and actually made my decision. I'll give you my answer at the end of the interview if that's okay with you. Hey, great. Then let's proceed. Okay, let's do a recap. We are exploring the current state of affairs. You're claiming to have the responsibility for this chaos. Dismantling the family, promoting one's truth, feeding self-centeredness, and now tonight, what are you in the process of destroying? Oh, Rebecca. This is so near and dear to my heart. I mean unspeakable joy when it comes to this subject. So, again, what exactly are you trying to destroy? The church. I am setting out to destroy the corrupt hypocritically bigoted church. Let me ask, do you like to cook? Sometimes. Well, I love to cook. Do you ever watch Chef Ramsay or Hell's Kitchen? Oh, by the way, do love that title. Anyway, I do draw some of my inspiration from his show, and I've concocted my own little recipe for destruction. I'm not sure if my listeners are gonna follow this. Can you give more detail? Okay, like I said, I follow a recipe model. First, I'll take a consistent tither, a generous giver to all church needs. I would think every church would want that individual in their congregation. Yes, yes they would. And that is the beautiful flavor of this recipe. You see, that particular tither likes to tell everyone how much he gives. And in return for that, he wants to have a ruling voice in all things church. If he doesn't, he'll take his money elsewhere. I see. Next, I take a professing Christian, one that just loves to spout scripture, likes to just tell everyone how much she knows about the gospel. When she's given a microphone and asked to pray, everybody knows they just have to settle in for a 15-minute dissertation. Okay, so she's excited about her faith. How's that a problem? <laughs> Her heart, Rebecca. The moment she steps out of the spotlight, she's jockeying for position, criticizing anyone that threatens to steal her thunder. I'll give you it. It is subtle, but it is deadly. And is there more? Well, let's look at the generous portion of the church maintenance committee. They highly invest themselves in making sure that the church stays in pristine order. That means keeping out the riffraff and being highly selective of who and under what circumstances the church can be used. I'm afraid to ask, but is there more to this recipe? Well, there could be. I mean, sometimes it's the person that looks different. Maybe they have blue hair, tattoos, nose ring, maybe clothes that are just a little inappropriate for church, or acts different. Acts a little charismatic, jumps up and down, prays with their hands in the air, any of those things. You're saying those people have a role in destroying the church? Oh, 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 no, no. They are the fuel that fans the fire of the status quo. You see, today's church is all about the status quo. Consistent and predictable. People just want to feel like they belong to a group. Sort of the same feeling you would find at, a, at your local tavern except your local tavern sells alcohol. So, Rebecca, what do you think? I think you may have hit some key points for the problems of the church today. See, I told you we would make a good team. However, not 
all churches are plagued by your recipe, people still tithe quietly and give generously. They praise God without thinking of themselves and as a whole are seen as God's children, blue hair or brown. Well, I would rather not debate you. I would rather have you on my team. Yes, well about that. I wanted to let you know that last night, I accepted Jesus as my personal savior. So I'm on his team. Oh, I know you're powerful and you can have a big influence on our lives if we allow it. But my God, he's more powerful. So I think you should read the last book in the Bible, Revelations, we win. This is Rebecca Smith for Global News Network, the station that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. This concludes our series on 2020, How Did We Get There? I hope you, the listener, have a better understanding of the individual claiming responsibility for today's chaos. For me, I look to Ephesians 6.11. It tells us to put on the full armor of God so that we can take our stand against the devil's schemes.